Uh, I just wanted to basically show the w set window management system I have set up on my Mac. Uh, basically, I set up an i3 window manager. Um, I use it on my personal computers. I love Regolith in particular, um, but I had to use Mac at work. So essentially, I wanted to be able to use the same keyboard and have the same kind of productivity workflows in Linux uh, as I do on my Mac. So to do that, we used basically a handful of different tools. Yabai, which is a window management tool. Uh, SKHD, which lets me do you know shortcuts to automatically move things, and Carabiner, which lets you map like a hyper key, which we use occasionally. We use Kitty Terminal. This pretty bar down here is called Sketchy Bar, and yeah, as you can see, you'll be able to see what I'm pushing down here on the bottom left. Um, if I hit the command button, I can basically move to any of the existing workspaces. Um, it'll print like what actually actually is there. You know, I can toggle um, night mode or day mode. Uh, inside of the app. So if I go to like google.com, for instance, you know, we can uh, sometimes toggle things and sometimes like the text will change, which is kind of nice when you're actually like inside of some kind of a uh, web page, for instance, and you're able to like render light and dark mode. It doesn't work on every website. It depends kind of on the website. I think GitHub behaves the way that we want it to. Um, yeah, so you know, you can toggle light mode and dark mode from the bar, which is kind of cool. We can see uh, what we're actually connected to in terms of network. We can see what's taking up network space, battery, that kind of thing. Um, in addition to being able to like toggle between different workspaces, um, I can create a new workspace by hitting that hyper key, which um, we'll just show you Carabiner real quick. So if I hit the hyper key, it uh, creates a new, and uh, hit N, it creates a new workspace. I can show you, I have a, basically a modification where the right option key on my keyboard, is the hyper key which just pushes all these buttons at the same time um other cool things about this setup is um you can also destroy destroy workspaces so i can hit you know hyper d and it'll destroy that workspace and i don't have to worry about it anymore but for the sake of it um like i said it is like a lot like regolith um and i3 window management so i can like open up a terminal and i'm just being weirdly slow but i can open a terminal i can open another terminal, I can open another terminal and it uses the binary space partitioning to, you know, continue doing things however I want. Um, as, you know, as an i3, you can basically, uh, I can hit command and arrow keys to move between workspaces, command shift to shift workspaces. Let's see what I'm doing with this one. So I can move them around, which is pretty nice. Um, I also mapped a basically a, a resize mode using the abai. So I can actually hit hyper R and go into resize mode where just like I3, I can modify the window spacing, which is pretty nice. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, shift resize, you can rotate, you know, alt R can like actually rotate the entire window space. Um, additionally, if I wanted to, I can actually send this entire window to a different workspace. So workspace four just has title right now. I can actually hit shift command four and it'll send this entire uh, terminal to workspace four um, shift it back to five which is great if i do uh, shift control four it'll basically move the window to that workspace and uh, follow the focus so well maybe i got that wrong oh okay it was a command control i'm still learning my own key binding so i hit command control workspace it'll actually shift it'll send everything there uh, for me and follow the focus, which is kind of nice. So again, command control four and it moves it and I can follow it, which is cool. Um, so, uh, other things that's kind of handy is like, if you're working on like, you know, if you're coding for instance, and you don't want to, uh, deal with like all of the gaps, cause I have gaps configured here, as you can see, um, I can hit command, uh, left command I, it'll close all of the gaps. Um, right command I will open everything back up. So again, you can imagine, you know, you have a couple of terminals open and command I go to essentially a full screen mode and right command I goes back to normal. Um, so how does this whole thing work? Well, let's um, show you. So vim config uh, by, so you buy again is like the window manager. So this is actually controlling, uh, you know, has a lot of basic basic setups you can manage you can actually set up rules so that you're not your buy is not trying to control certain windows that don't behave well with it you can do signals and ha like run commands 
three you buy, it's pretty handy. Um, if I wanted to actually show you the, the meat of it is actually in the skhd file, because that's kind of the one that's executing all of the yabai commands. Um, so essentially you can see here, um, I'll turn on real quick. I'll display mouse clicks for you. Um, so I can see my mouse when I click things. Um, so here at session defaults, you know, I have a border set up, um, some short commands for like locking my screen immediately, logging out, powering down. Again, I've ported all of these from Rigolith. Um, I have some launch commands set up. So I open the terminal, Firefox, VS Code, Finder. So I can just hit command um, shift and it'll open, command shift and it'll open another terminal. I can hit command shift return and it'll open a Firefox window. Um, rather convenient, honestly, all of this. Um, again, I can, uh, toggle basically the resize mode that I showed you earlier, which was hyper R and be able to resize things immediately. Um, if I wanted to make things even, you'll see this later. I can hit command, uh, hyper E and it'll basically even out the terminals. So showing you that I've resized the terminal. I want them to be the same size. Hit hyper E goes all back to the same size. Um, yeah. And then, you know, again, like I just kind of ported everything from regolith that I used. So creating workspace, destroying workspaces, uh, moving things, sending them to different workspaces, moving them relative to each other, which was, you know, that thing, equalizing them, enabling, disabling gaps, um, setting the insertion point is basically, you know, toggling like where the new windows will be created. And yeah, you can obviously like make windows floaty if you wanted. So for some reason I had Firefox here and I wanted it to be in full float fault mode. I could hit, you know, shift alt space. And now it's just like a normal floating window that you can control how you want. Um, I don't really like floating mode most of the time though, but I guess sometimes it's useful. Um, so yeah, uh, net net, it's been pretty sweet and I'm very satisfied with the setup. I think it's really pretty. I think it works nicely. Um, and Honestly, once I figured everything out, it really wasn't that bad to get set up. And I think anytime I have to use Mac, I'll probably do this going forward because it's awesome. Anyway, I'll probably make a blog post about this at some point and eventually share all those dot files so that you too can just hop in and enjoy Mac like i3. That's it.